Hi, welcome to Silver Screen News with us, the Silver Screen Dudes. I'm Anthony Jordan. I'm Nico Lero. Okay, um, yeah. I believe this is a bit of a hint as to what's coming. Nick, I believe you have some comic book news for us of the DC nature. In a world where Batman and Superman should be fighting, uh, we have posters for the Dawn of Justice movie. Here's the full story. The upcoming Warner Bros. film, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, is now just a little over three months away, and the studio has now released three new character posters featuring Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman, which you can see now. Fearing the actions of a godlike superhero left unchecked, Gotham City's own formidable forceful vigilante takes on Metropolis's most revered modern day saviour, while the world wrestles with what sort of hero it really needs. And with Batman and Superman at war with one another, and a new threat quickly arises, putting mankind in greater danger than it's ever known before. AJ, do you like the new character posters and have they changed your apprehensive mind, which I share with you at all about this movie? I don't think anything can change that. I like the look of the posters. Um, Wonder Woman looks very, kind of look reminiscent of the old Wonder Woman. She looks like Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the logo looks very classic. To, they all look the same, obviously, apart from Batman, who's tanked up in metal and understandably why. Um, Homage to The Dark Knight Returns. Indeed, indeed. Um, Tell me. The Justice League are coming. Do right. you bleed? <laughs> right, this is where I'm going to go with this. Mar uh, Marvel, Marvel has nothing to do with this. DC released too much in the trailer. <laughs> Way too much. And uh, with Batman, that, uh, Batman v Superman will it suck video <laughs> above AJ's head. Yeah, and I'm still excited because... People, you've heard me say it time and time again, Batman is my favorite hero, comic book wide. Yeah. Whether Marvel, whether DC, Batman's my boy. Second for me, just short of Spidey, but he's up. Yeah, now Batman is my top one. And it's funny because he's not a superhero, he's just a hero. That's not the argument we're going for now. I'm excited for it. I want to see a linked DC universe. And it's here, it's here. The TV universe has done fantastic as far as I'm concerned. And they left out Gotham for mm. dual reason. Now. No, it Gotham's getting another season. No, I meant from the joint season, from that. the shared universe. Oh. No bat baby, thank you. Yeah. Ugh. Anyway, that's not where we're going. Well, I'm sticking to this film. Too much was given away. Too much was given away. And the posters are nice. It gives you a, a bit of nostalgia. It gives you that element of it's coming, it's coming. But you think to yourself, I've seen it. You know, yeah. everywhere you go, everyone didn't want to know about the Doomsday part. The film had this whole Batman versus Superman element and it really looked like it. You know, even the teaser to the trailer, the unmasking, you think to yourself, okay, we got something. Ah, it gave me a shock, but I said in, in the Will It Suck video, um, it gave me the shock, which should have been in the cinema. It should have been, but you know what? You just, you felt the hatred. It, you know, even- to And it, then it's, it's gonna be a dream. Yeah. Reveal, it's a dream yeah, sequence, yeah, yeah. which has now ruined that too. Yeah, and this is the element. You look at, I don't want to keep comparing them, but you look at Civil War, we have a war going on. And now we've got something that started off. You, you know, you, how can I say, you had all these Avengers stuff. The first thing that was building towards the Justice League had your two biggest heroes against each other. And it was like, what, excuse me? Which was a really good way to get the DC Universe Perfect. started. Of course it was, it was the only way. And... I'm excited, the posters are nice. I'm not condemning the posters. Has it changed my mind? I'm still excited for the film, but I just feel like I've been given too much. And that's not gonna change. Precisely, and when, regarding the posters being nice, listen, there, there's two things I'd like to say here. First off, the posters are very, very much a mirror of the type of directing that we can expect from Zack Schneider. He is, and always has been, and I don't believe this will change with BVS, um, he is very much a visual director. Yeah. He's not ever had, you know, the strongest character development uh, story plots, but, you know, you go into a Zack, uh, Zack Schneider movie, something like 300, you know, or love it or hate it, Sucker Punch had some spectacularly cool moments. Um, not a great movie, but visually it was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Watchmen, which I think was a masterpiece of filmmaking, not so much as a standalone movie, but in terms of adapting a very difficult book into a movie. I mean, it was frame for frame perfection. He is a visual director. So the fact that these posters look nice just tells me, okay, cool. So 
If Normally, I wouldn't necessarily it. say this. I mean, he's not in charge of making the posters, but he oversees the whole directing of this movie. I'm sure he's got a say and uh, has an overseeing uh, eye on the marketing too. I expect the posters for any Zack Schneider project, as the trailers, to look good, right? But it doesn't change my opinion about the movie. Now, the other thing that's come out is the fact that this movie is over two and a half hours long. Do you know what? It's that, not necessarily a bad thing. It's not. But let me say this, movies which are three hours plus, like the extended version of Lord of the Rings Return of the King, I know you're not the biggest fan, no, 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 no. but they fly by like that. Sometimes I can be in a 90 minute movie and I'm like, when is this garbage gonna end? It's all about how the movie is, right? And the fact that I feel like I have already seen this movie from the trailer, you know, we're talking about looks. Yeah, they look like Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman, they look great. Jesse Eisenberg with a bald head. He may look like Lex Luthor, but doesn't doesn't change the wow, ooh, I bring people together. You do not want to shake this guy's hand. I mean, Mark Zuckerberg and Jesse Eisenberg and everything he does, he talks like this, and he's got exactly the same type of evocative little voice, and he doesn't change in any of his roles. It's exactly the same. Just sounds like he needs a slap. Oh. <laughs> I don't even want to be rude. Superman slap him. You don't want to fight him, just slap him. Now, there's <laughs> something that's been thrown out there that he's doing it, you know, playing a red herring. You know, that he's putting on that persona to, uh, you know, to hide a much darker side. You Man, can, if Jesse Eisenberg can bring that to a role, respect. He, he, he can, if he does, yeah, as he said, Good. respect. But you know what? I don't, I see, don't it. see it. And more to the point. This is just an opinion, obviously, this, not having seen the movie and not knowing what it's yeah. going to be. We might be here in three months' time going, well, we need to eat our shorts, Link above why? You know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. But as it stands. Route, I doubt it, though. Yeah, I fully doubt it. And the thing is. In comic books, in comic books, or anything that's adapted, anything that's adapted, you're always going to find people upset by change. I don't think I could have been more disappointed in seeing a Lex Luthor that way. Mm. The, you, you know, you have Lex Luthor and you have the Kingpin, and these are dominant, powerful men. And you've got this guy who just looks like he's mucking about with Daddy's bank card. You know, he, he looks he, like he, a little just, silver spoon brat, yeah, doesn't it's, it's, he? It's silver spoon, look, not silver screen. Yeah, <laughs> trust me, not silver screen no. nah, at all. Yeah, that's what I look, and I want that Lex Luthor. You know, he, he is the man. Lex is the man. No matter which way you look at it, he has got that. That's what I wanted. I wanted a real hardcore, real edged B ends in D kind of guy. You Speaking know? of B, Brian Cranston, I would have liked to see as Lex Luthor. <laughs> but hey, do you know what? Let's end on a positive because you know, as comic book fans, do you know all we can do now? Pray that we're wrong. Yeah. And I... really, do you know all we can do now is cheerlead. Jesse Eisenberg. That's all we can do. Do you know what? I would love to say that's the truth, but considering the film's like partway filmed, if not completed, it, there's nothing we can do to change it. But if you think we're wrong, please do comment below on and subscribe to us. Give us a shout on Facebook. Give us a like on Facebook as well. That would be very nice. Thank you very much. And follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We're everywhere. We are the Silver Screen Dudes. We deliver Silver Screen News. I'm Anthony Jordan. I'm Nicolero. Signing out. See ya.